Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodian, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
So anything that is not in, in line with God's law, then we stand for that. Tertullian, an early Christian writer in the church, said this about us. He was a lawyer who was a very bright guy, and he wrote a lot. He was the first person to coin the word, word Trinity, pretty much, in the church, and teach us about the Trinity. Early centuries of the church, first and second century, he lived. Had prolific writings for the church. He said this about human beings. We are God's coin, bearing God's image, belonging completely to God. So if you want to think about it like that, just the coin, we are God's coin, bearing his image, and belonging completely to God. Or another way we can look at it is someone who wrote before him, who wrote, who gave us much of the New Testament, St. Paul, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. You are not your own. You do not own your body, so glorify God in your body. So we belong to God. Our bodies are not our own. They belong to God. And we are here to glorify God in our bodies, to do what he wants us to do, to do what God is doing, to relate how God wants us to relate. And we know that when we don't do that, we, we suffer destruction and happiness and devastation. I'm reading a, a great book right now by Peter Kreeft. He's a philosopher and a faithful Catholic at Boston College University. And he has a take on this whole understanding of the body. And I, it, it, it's really struck me. And it has to do with the Eucharist. You can look at that two ways. When we receive, I mean, you can look at it many ways, but just for a framework for understanding it, when you come up and you receive the Eucharist today, Jesus is saying, this is my body. And he said that at the Last Supper, the body of Christ. This is my body. So we can look at it that way, as someone who is self-sacrificing for us, martyring himself for us, so that we can live in his truth, or we can look at it a different way. We can look at it in an arrogant, prideful way of the egoist and say, this is my body. And I will do with it what I want. And Creed talks about this, this arrogant, prideful saying, this is my body. I will use and dispose of it as I want or however I want to, to do that. He says this, the spirit of in terms of the arrogant pride of saying this is my body of the egoist without regards to God and how he completely wants everything from us the spirit of the antichrist says through his deluded slaves who think they are asserting their freedom we become slaves when we assert our freedom without regard to God and don't follow God we become enslaved that's not freedom to do what we want with our body Freedom comes in doing what God wants us to do with our bodies. So we become enslaved, we become slaves. Deluded, we become deluded slaves who think of serving their freedom. This is my body. So this is, you know, me anytime I choose not to act with God. This is my body, not yours. You did not create me. You have no rights over me. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. When I die, I will not repent in shame, but I will hold my head and sing, I did it my way. And you know what the national anthem of hell is? I did it my way. <laughs> and that's, you know, I'm, I'm going to do it my way irrespective of God. And I, I do not care what his truth is. I will not repent and I will not change to that truth. 